sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the Rad Runner 3 Plus from Rad Power Bikes. The most versatile cargo utility bike on the market out there. There are so many different options you can choose. Before we get started on this review, if you guys wanna support the channel, check out that link down below for the Rad Runner 3 from Rad Power. If Rad Power isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. So we teamed up with Rad Power to test out the Rad Runner 3. They asked us to pick two different accessories. So I chose the center console here and we got the Rad trailer all loaded up. We're gonna take it out to the beach. We're also gonna get Dee Dee to hop on this bike to see how it works out for her. So if you guys are looking for the most versatile cargo utility e-bike, definitely rad powers for you. So in this video, we're gonna do an overview. We'll go straight to the speed test. And just so you guys know, I have unlocked this bike. Wait till the end of the video so I can teach you how to unlock the rad power e-bikes. So first we're gonna do a speed test without the trailer. Then after the regular speed test, we're gonna load the trailer up and we're gonna see how fast we can go full throttle on this bad boy. So let's get started on the overview. The Rad Runner 3 Plus retails for $22.99. But if you use that link down below, you get a free accessory with your purchase. If you wanted the green, this one retails for 2349 right down here we're equipped with a 672 watt hour 48 volt battery so it's a 14 amp hour battery and up here we actually have two displays on the rad power rad runner 3 right down here we're powered with a 750 watt brushless rad power bikes geared hub motor the front headlight is a standard rad power bikes led headlight and back here we have a rear integrated taillight with a brake light they claim a range of about 25 to 45 miles per charge up here on the right hand side we have a half twist throttle and our brakes are Tektra hydraulic hd e350s the brake orders are Tektra 188 millimeters front and rear check out the crank set it's a 48 tooth chain ring with 170 millimeter crank arms the derailleur is a shimano altus md310 seven speed we do have front and rear fenders the forks are an rst spring fork with 60 millimeters of travel with preload adjustment and lockout. And our frame is made out of aluminum. The tires are a Kenda K905 with K-Shield puncture protection. And up here, we actually have a very comfortable saddle. And up here, we have a Shimano thumb shifter. The recommended rider heights are between four foot 11 and six foot two. The overview is done. We're gonna unhook this and let's get started on our speed test. Just so you know guys, the battery does come in a ship mode. So you gotta hold this button for a few seconds to turn it on. Mine's on, so we'll go up here to the display on the left. Hold that down to get it powered on. Now we're powered on. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video. I'll show you how to unlock this bike to go faster than 20 miles an hour. All right, so let's get this bike mounted. Before we get this started, let me show you the center console. It's really cool, very spacious in here, guys. Super cool, it comes with a lock. Look at all that room in there, guys. Maybe you could line it up and throw some ice in there, put some sodas in there. We're on the Rad Power Rad Runner 3 Plus. So far, the seating position feels really comfortable. I like the straight upright seating position. Cadence sensor takes off pretty quick. We're gonna start this speed test in mode five. And like I said, the bike is totally unlocked. Speed test, mode five, full throttle. We're gonna see how fast we can go to on mode five. Pedal assist with the front fork locked out. Acceleration isn't crazy or anything. Very smooth pickup though, 22 miles an hour. We passed their stock 20 miles an hour, 23. My guess is we'll hit like 25. Slight uphill here guys, 24.2 miles an hour. 24.7, 26.1 I just saw, 25.2 now. All right, now we're on a flat. It's kind of fluctuating guys. We're super flat here now, guys. All right, so I guess it's safe to say around between 24 and 25 miles an hour on flat on pedal assist five. So I think going through all the modes with the throttle doesn't change the speeds for the throttle. The modes are only for pedal assist, not your throttle. Even on zero, you still have full throttle. I'm gonna try pedal assist five and locking out the front fork. And we're gonna see if we can pedal past 25 miles an hour. Go to gear seven, still pushing. I can actually pedal that pretty easy. That's my chain <laughs> on my, my wallet. It's not 25.5, come on 26. 
Dude, the speedometer is pretty much on point, guys. Ah, oh, 25.6. This is uphill now, guys. That's the highest I can get by locking out the suspension. Freddy, can you wheelie the Rad Runner 3 Plus? Nope. <laughs> no. Next, we're going to test it through some grass, and we're going to do a little uphill test. All right, let's sit on the biscuits. Saddle's comfortable so far, but I want to know what it's like after about 20 miles. This is a hardtail, so there's no rear suspension. I can definitely feel it on my biscuit, so let's stand up. Ah, much better, guys, much better. <laughs> can we make it up this hill? Yes, sir. All right, let's try to get up this hill from a stop, a dead stop. Oh, <laughs> can you do it? Nope, nope. It is cool, you can actually fit two kids on the back of this. Pretty nimble, too, and just so you know, you can get it without the center console, so the step-through design is still there and easy to get on and off the bike. So when D does test this bike out, I'll take the center console out. All right, we're gonna try to make it up this little hill with a slightly, slight lead start. Off, off throttle, off throttle. Oh, this is getting really steep here. Nope, <laughs> nope. Pedal assist five. Oh, this is a lot easier. Oh no, right here, it gets hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, the torque isn't too crazy on this bike. Let's get the trailer on and do a speed test and we're gonna head to the beach. Let me show you guys how easy it is to hook this trailer up. With the trailer kit comes this little arm and a nut. So you're gonna take the stock nut off, replace it with this whole setup. And we have this here, we're gonna slide it right in. Get your little pin, get that through. Now we're locked in. Then with this, I'm just gonna wrap it around twice. This is just a safety strap. Boom, just like that. We're ready to roll, guys. All right, so we got everything strapped down. Rad trailer's on. Let's see what top speed we get on it now. Oh, hold on, I got something rubbing. Already struggling with Shreddy over here. Let's try this again, guys. That's kind of in the way of the kickstand, but that's not too big of an issue. We're back, we're good. Trailer's attached. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight out here, guys. It says 23 down here, but I don't know what GPS is saying. Let's see. 23.5 was our top speed on GPS. I never thought putting a trailer in the back of an e-bike would be this easy and comfortable. I thought I would feel it, but I don't feel it at all. The trailer can actually hold up to 100 pounds, so we can definitely add some more weight back there, guys. That's cool. I can just throw my phone in there. Man, this is the total most practical bike we've ever had on the channel, guys. Yo! We can still carve like this with a trailer on the back. Let's go. Dude, this is gonna be great to have on group rides where we could load extra batteries or people's book bags on there. So right now we're heading to the beach. We're gonna catch up with Didi. We at the beach, boys. So I'm actually gonna use my bike as an assistant to take this trailer onto the beach. Actually, I wonder if there's a walk mode if you hold the down button. Let's see. Yep, there's a walk mode. That's about as fast as we're going to walk mode though. How does this thing handle through some sand? Oh yeah. <laughs> we just caught up with Dee Dee. Hey guys. She's gonna try out the Rad Runner 3 Plus. She is five foot two. We lowered the seat as low as possible. And we're gonna see how she can handle this bike along with the trailer. Let's see how, how your feet touch. Good, perfect. All the way. Awesome, yeah. I'm gonna follow her on a one wheel. It's not too torquey. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Whoa, it does have a little torque. The seat is very comfortable. Seating position is great. Oh, look at the sailboat. We got to the beach, you wanna set up? We're gonna show you how to use this e-bike to pull this trailer with one hand. This definitely beats like plowing through this sand with one of those like beach trailers. I'll just do it one-handed backwards. <laughs> Kick stand, good for the sand, let's go. <laughs> Setup is done, ready to Rock and roll. Hell yeah, thank you, Red Power. All right, beach time is done. Look at this, D. I'm one handing it. Rad Runner 3 Plus? Nope, we don't struggle. Rad Power, Rad Trailer, 100% a success on the beach. Really awesome to have in a beach town like this. I mean, come on, guys. We got a trailer in the back. We can throw anything on there and go anywhere we want. You gotta be really mindful of where you're riding with this trailer in the back, because you can definitely clip things. 23 mile an hour brake check with the trailer on. Oh, <laughs> the back of that trailer just totally, totally almost jackknifed on me. I didn't even notice actually, guys, there's a battery gauge on the battery itself and on the display on the left side here. Six battery bars left, almost nine miles completed. 
Having the center console out of the way is actually pretty nice. You can rest your feet like this. <laughs> totally chilling. One more last test to do. We're gonna try to rip down through the sand here and get to the top of the hill with the trailer. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Come on, come on, you can do it. Let's go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, come on. We can make it up this hill. We can make it. Let's go. Freaking rad trailer. This thing is amazing. What the hell? Man, guys, what a fun day. What a fun review. If you guys enjoyed today's review, today's video, definitely drop a like. Drop a like for Didi coming to the beach with us and testing the Rad Power Rad Runner 3 Plus. <laughs> that thing bounced a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about the Rad Runner 3 Plus down in the comments. And if you guys want to see any more tests you want me to throw at this bike in the future, we're going to be having a lot of fun with the Rad Runner 3 Plus, especially since we got a trailer so we can bring anything with us. Guys, I definitely think the Rad Runner 3 Plus is the most versatile utility cargo bike on the market. The fact that you can add trailers and do tons of customizing with all their different accessories that they have for the bike, awesome for the family, even awesome for a college student, even great for doing uber eats as always if you guys want to support the channel check out that link down below for the rad runner 3 plus and if you use that link right now it gets a free accessory with your purchase if rad power isn't for you check out all those other links down below there might be a bike you like and as always if you guys enjoyed that content please consider subscribing hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when i'm making videos and are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button in three two one hit subscribe heads down all right, guys, I'll see you in the next Rad Ride. This is how we unlock the Rad Runner 3 Plus. Hold the down button and the headlight button for about seven seconds. Once you see the P pop up, you're going to hold up, down, and the headlight button for about 15 seconds. Then you see the top speed pop up. Just set it to the maximum value and you're unlocked. Yeah. <laughs>